Welcome back. It's a quarter till seven right now. A local woman who once struggled as a teen mother is now using her life experience to create a nurturing space for teens and their babies. She's the founder of Pretty Passionate Hands, a nonprofit in Indianapolis. News 8's Amisha Ramsey is at the group's facility right now with this story. Amisha, good morning. Good morning, Kylie. When teens walk through this door, it's supposed to be a safe haven for them to just relax and breathe. Well, we spoke to the founder, Paradise Bradford, who found out she was pregnant at the age of 15. So she started this nonprofit to make boys and girls feel like they have a place to turn. I go to work and school and then still take care of him and take him places. Brooklyn Bullock is a junior in high school and this is her nine month old baby. She says some family members felt unsure about her pregnancy at 15 years old. My grandma on my dad's side told me she could drive me down to Chicago to get an abortion. Instead of taking that route. I made it to doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying my best to make it to them on time with that it was way across town because I lived on the far east side. She also decided to enroll in programs at Pretty Passionate Hands, a nonprofit that supports teen mothers and fathers. Paradise Bradford founded the organization in 2015. It offers services and hosts weekly events focusing on health and wellness, family planning, communication, co-parenting, and other life skills. We want to give them um, mentorship. We want to be there for uh, just an open door for them to come when they just need to get away from their current situation. And, um, just tell them to take a deep breath and see what we can do for them. An in-house pantry has items like underwear to baby formula free of charge. It goes unnoticed in our community that the age is 12 to 18. You can't just go to the store and, you know, buy the things that you need every day. A struggle Paradise knows well. She had her first child at 15. I had nowhere to turn to, so I went ahead and I figured out things on my own, which wasn't the best. She says life spiraled after that, and she ended up in prison. I kind of stepped back and said, how did I get here? I decided it was time to make a change, and I didn't want other people to go through that. Now Paradise is sharing the lessons she learned to offer hope to young parents like Brooklyn. When I first met Paradise, she said, what can I help you with? I needed this myself so much, and every time my teen parents come in here and I look at them and they just tell me, thank you, I'm always like, I can't believe somebody is telling me thank you for something I'm doing. So it's it's just so surreal. Like, um, I can't wow. believe it most days. Now, now, Paradise tells me she hopes to scale the nonprofit by eventually providing daycare services for parents. Now, if you are interested, every last Tuesday of the month, open enrollment is for young parents, for volunteers, sponsors, and also community partners. We'll send it back to the news. We're reporting live at Misha Ramsey, wishtv, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.